Trading success show. I what I'm gonna be doing here today is going to be on finding stocks with unusual volume, and of course, from the previous day. So um, that is what we're gonna be doing today, and. Um, Pretty much this channel is here for you and uh, whatever recommendations you all have just uh, send it my way also is brought to you by trading success show if I haven't said that already uh, this is not a recommendation or advice to buy or sell a stock it's just for entertainment purposes only um, you may lose money and always do your research regardless um, so I will take you there to the website okay so this is um Finvis uh, Finvis is pretty much uh, used in most cases to scan for stock or to search different strategy okay um in this case we have um unusual volume okay so instead of going into the scanner to look for unusual volume you just go in just in the home page and just click on unusual volume so now the stocks that we have that the volume are unusual or the kind of volume that we haven't seen before is um 200 stock or 200 tickers so um, what I do is I go to the filter top right to the filter and then I go to all I click on the tab that says all and now I need to put in my search criteria so what are my search criteria uh, my search criteria has to do with low floats has to do with uh, the floats that are short and has to do with stocks that are above the 200 moving average or simple moving average. Um, also, I like to look for stocks that are pretty much under $20 uh, because most times these stocks tends to push higher and higher and higher. Um, however, you may, you may find stocks that are say 70 cents or 50 cents. That is fine. Um, I'm not against uh, people trading that but uh, the disadvantage there trading stocks that are below a dollar means um, you could encounter situation like uh, river stock split so um, if that happens that will mess up your average if uh, uh, for example if your uh, entry is higher than uh, where the the split is gonna take place or the previous day close so um, these are my criteria so let's 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 get into it so i also look for the floats the float need to be on the 50 million so that is one criteria we have the current volume need to be above 300 okay and we also need to look for average volume average volume need to be over 300 so now from the 200 stocks now we have 59 stocks so it's looking it's looking nice looking beautiful so um uh we also have the simple moving average which i needed to be above the 200 so uh most institutions they buy stocks that are above 200 in my opinion so um so anyways um also i also like it to be uh the floats to be higher you know i like the, the 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 short float to be higher because there's a higher tendency that the stock is going to uh, 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 squeeze the shots out of it uh, when i mean shots i mean um there are hedge funds or institutions that are you know betting for the stock to keep going down and keep going down so um when the stock begins 
to gain momentum guess what is gonna happen the hedge fund or the the the, the institutions they're gonna try to cover their position so they're gonna buy back that shares that the bor borrow and um this will help to push the stock higher and higher it is the same thing that happened with a company called gme gme was a short squeeze so the 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 the, the float short was like 140 or 40 something so uh, more than 100 percent of the float uh, uh was short so um that actually created what they call a short squeeze so um right here i like to have higher above uh 20 percent so now we only have two okay we only have two which is cycc and proch um so if you look at the candles the candles are re really huge that gives you an indication that you know the float is very small float and also the percentage of shorts are very high so look at this now see what this look at this look at the consolidation from the left to the right and boom the stock just took off so um the short float is 28 percent and we have 18 million uh, uh, uh shares of float okay the average volume is good okay this is like almost like 1 million um shares traded on average and uh, on the last uh, you know uh, 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 trading day we have 5.6 million shares was traded so um these actually they look really good but uh we have greater than that so if we go back let's say we have um say over five percent so now we have we narrow it down to uh stocks that are okay say maybe five percent ten percent fifteen just like that so we have more to uh to pick okay um now we have 24 stocks so these 24 stocks i'm gonna look at okay say you want to add more criteria and say they must be above 50. so we have 23 stocks so which is good because you want stocks that are actually above the 250 moving average even um you know the stock will be flattening around the 20 moving moving average is still okay you know because most times uh, a, a very strong stock need to hold the 20 moving average uh, regardless so so it it is good okay so next we're gonna go to uh, i call this my technical analysis section so where you see the chart and you also see a little bit of fundamentals of the of the stock so um here let's say we have AMBO, that is our first stock. Um, by my analysis, the stock pushes up and pull back down, pushes up and pull back down, and pushed up again and pull back down. So um, I will say this stock is something you need to hold and grab the opportunity whenever it pushes up again but in this case the move has already been made so i i wouldn't want to get in this uh, uh uh stock and it's a chinese stock most times i search for stock only u.s stock so let's see how many it will give us so let's say u.s stock so we have 20 so which is also still good so i actually didn't like the other um the the amble because uh the move is already been made so there's no need for me going going back in it though the the, the support is still is still decent but uh, I, I wouldn't want to go into it so um let's look for us stock actually uh we have cycc cycc is good but uh it need to hold this eight dollar area so once we can hold once once we hold eight dollar area the stock should keep uh, uh up going up the resistance is just gonna be around that uh, nine, 950, 950 area that's gonna be the resistance and then ten dollars. Um, 
uh, VISL. VISL was a very fantastic uh, stock that uh, actually did move on Friday. Um, I really do like this stock. I'm in this stock and um, um, I'm hoping and uh, based on technicals, I think we're going to get to $4. Once we get to $4.25 or $4.50, uh, once we break this level, we should see five and five. We should see five and six dollars easily um, on this stock. Look at what happened the last time uh, the stock actually pushed through. The stock actually popped all the way up and pulled back down and just sold off all the way. And they did a river split around, I think, August, September, or whatever it is. But um, I do like VISL. Um, next one is going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and write it down. VISL. Um, uh, Azax. Azax, uh, did, uh, it was a momentum on Friday as well. So, um, let's see here. We actually above all moving averages here, the 20, the 50 and the 200. So, um, uh, we actually we actually hit resistance and pull back so um, I'm looking for momentum to continue on this name so um, AXAX at 371 another one to watch that's it the arrow EKR I don't like it um, if there's options on it I can trade the options but uh, um, it's 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 just gone. It's gone. Um, it's extended, so I wouldn't want to go in there. Uh, it used volume, however, but I uh, know. Um, this one there was a news about uh, FDA halting one of their programs, so um, that's the reason why SPRO pulled back to 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 support, which is our two hundred uh, 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 moving average, and it just bends back up to uh, new highs. So, uh, for, for today, into today, um, next one I'm looking at is ZYNE. ZYNE actually broke the trend, pulled back up, and pulled back to retest the breakout spot, and now it's going back up again. So, um, I think once we break 550, we should test all time highs or 52 weeks on this, uh, uh, stock so I'm gonna put it on my back burner because it l does look good all right uh, next one is gonna be INPX INPX actually um, broke out and is coming back to retest that breakout level so um, INPX is also good to be on uh, radar due to the unusual volume that came in the stock uh next one is gonna be nog n-o-g n-o-g um looks really good actually is holding the 20 moving average so um n-o-g at 11 dollars it closed 11 dollars and um is holding the 20 so i do like this for a long term not for a short term but for a long term though it's oil and gas that's fine but um i do like the fact that it is holding the 20 uh moving average and it's still holding the trend so um next one is uh p-r-o-c-h p-r-o-c-h is already extended into the resistance so um, I'm just going to keep that in my back burner and see if you can break $20 and hold that area. If it can consolidate around that area, I think we get a, a, a chance for it going back up instead of pulling back down like it did the other two uh, times it did pop into resistance. Uh, next one is uh, CROMD. CROMD is quite, had a, quite a move, man. Look at that. One, two, and three. Um, no, I don't want to trade that. I don't want to touch that. The reason is because it's already extended and uh, pulled back to... It, it actually rejected the support, which is the trend. The trend was the resistance. Now it's, it's now support. So it rejected that support and pushed back up. So if we can come down around here and consolidate around the $13 area, then yeah, then I can get in. But right now I don't want to get in there because it's too extended. Um... We'll go to the next page, which is 
S I E N. S I E N was uh was one of those stocks where um it held it held support really good, which is our moving averages. It held this support really good and all of a sudden it pushed through resistance and now it's coming back to test uh resistance which is now support so this i'm gonna keep it in my back burner because i do like the chart i do like it and see if if we can consolidate around this area and don't push back down i think we should we, we should we should go okay so uh we also have c o r r so um as uh charlie Oscar Romeo Romeo uh, so this stock I like it I like it that was a good move right there this kind of move is due to the float too so um, it pulled back to support and bounce off the support so uh, our resistance is ten dollars if we can cross ten dollars we should we should be good um, I'm gonna put it in my back burner um, like stock that i need to hold for like a week or two or so um i'm gonna put it there resistance is ten dollars next one is going to be aim a i m um i love this stock i've made pretty decent amount of money off this stock actually uh, i really do love it um right now we are actually around the resistance area this is the resistance right here around two dollar fifty cents uh we did close below the resistance but uh i think uh, with the volume i think we should be able to go so i'm gonna put that on my radar for the coming week as well uh two dollar forty five i think once we get rid of this 260 275 then we should be able to test uh the next level which is 350 or four dollars so I'll put it on my radar. Uh, Vivo, V I V O, is already extended, so I'm not gonna look at that. Um, some sometimes they do continue, but um, I don't wanna. I, I don't wanna, you know. Uh, if we can come back to the twenty-six dollar area, then yes, I can grab a little bit, but uh, I don't wanna be holding the bag right here in case they decide to pull back. So um, it's already too extended. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, PLT, PLT is, well, look at the trend, every time we hit the trend, we pull back, every time we hit the trend, we pull back, guess what happened now, the trend is so, the, 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 the resistance is so strong that with volume, we did push through it, so, um, I'll be looking at this on, uh, the next, uh, trading day, uh, it's at 41. Um, if there are options, I will pick up some options. Probably like a $40 call options. I want to pick up. I want to pick up options in the money rather than out of the money. So, uh, in this case, uh, $40 call options would be a very uh, 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 decent idea. Um, the, the 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 top and tail is just too too long. So, um, that's that's a swing swing low swing high almost like. Uh, 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 20 or oh, $19 no so uh, see a uh, year right there from 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 35 all the way to uh, to 50 so um, I'll keep I'll, I'll keep an eye on it I'll keep an eye on it we got s y n a uh, the same thing here too so if this can come back to the uh, 110 area and consolidate around there then I will pick some more I just don't like the top and tail. Uh, Rex is the same thing as well. Look at the trend break. And let's see if we can pull back down and, you know, consolidate around this area. Then I can pick some. Uh, this, I'm not into this. I don't like this one. Um, I don't like that box. Okay. Uh, it does look good. It does look good. It broke the trend. And, uh, Right now, it's trying to come back to test uh, the 20 moving average. So, uh, C A R V. Um, I've been holding this stock for quite a while now, from the six dollar area. So I'm still holding this. 
um, I'm looking for a 10 break and then we should be able to test our $13. So I'm holding this. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a watch list for the coming week. Um, CCS. CCS is uh, fundamentals. I don't know much about residential construction, but uh, I think this stock is already extended. Uh, not much of a, 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 a top in tail, but it does look good. See if there's a continuation on uh, on the next uh, trading day. But uh, that is it. That is uh, how I look for unusual volume um, on my end. Every day that the market closes, I look for this. And some of them, they, you know, they look good for you to go in even after the market closed for a continuation higher um this cycc we're gonna i'm gonna see but this bisl i think we're gonna get to the five a uh, four dollar fifty five dollar area and then we should push back to the eyes um that i can tell is possible okay it is possible so that's how I look for my unusual volume every single day after the market close and then take a uh, position the following uh, 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 trading day for swing two days or a day two or a month. You know, um, that's how I do it. So um, I'm still going to be holding the VISL and I'm going to be holding the CAV. But however, from this list of uh, 20 stocks, we're able to we're able to come up with 10 on the list. Okay, 10 of them really looks good uh, technically. So um, I'm going to keep those on my radar as well. So this is how I find unusual uh, volume on stocks okay thank you very much and thank you for visiting this channel uh, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell a stock it's just for entertainment purposes only so um, I hope you all have a good time and uh, happy trading um, hit me up if you uh, have any questions or any stock or that I need to look at technically and I'm, I'm open and willing to do that have a good day. Bye-bye.